Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on animated scoreboard. So on the right you can see it in action here and it looks fantastic. You can see there are lots of different animations, lots of different colours, things are flashing. It just, it just looks great. So um, what I'm going to do is show you the commands of this plugin and then we're going to hit the config files. There is quite a few of them and show you how this plugin actually works. So you can see that it says welcome percentage player name percentage. If you download Placeholder API, uh, which is another free plugin that you can download, uh, it allows you to have various different placeholders such as player name, player uh, time, location, world, all of that good stuff. So make sure you get that as well. I didn't download it, but uh, we can still show you how the plugin works. So if we do for slash ASB, that will show us all the commands. And what we're going to do is toggle it on and off, which is a useful feature if you don't want to see it for a particular reason. Once you've done that, you can actually list all of the different scoreboards. There isn't just one. You can have scoreboards per world or per permission. So we can actually click to switch to one. Now, we are using the admin board because we're op, but we could go to the, de the default one or the... Uh, or another one if we had another one. You can also do that via command by doing ASB switch and then admin board like that and that will obviously switch us uh, to the admin board if it was any different. So those are the in-game commands, um, very easy to use. Now we're going to have a look at the config files and show you how you can create new animations and whatnot. So here we are in the animated scoreboard folder and as you can see there are four different files. The bottom one you don't need to edit at all because it's uh, just data about the player. Then we have the messages which is pretty straightforward. You could change colours or, or words or the prefix if you really wanted to but there's no real need to. Uh, so you don't really need to mess around with that. We then have the config file which is pretty cool. You can set uh, which scoreboards are in which world. So as you can see the end and the nether actually have their own scoreboard which is really cool. You can change the colours of it, the animations per world which is very cool. You can also set permissions per scoreboard. So if a player donates not only do they get maybe a kit or various commands they also get a cool scoreboard. So you could create a VIP board which we are going to make in a second and then we're going to have a look in game at it. So animatedscoreboard.vip could be the permission and check for updates true. So that is really cool that you can do that in uh, the config file. Now let's have a look at the scoreboards. So here are the three scoreboards at the moment. Let's just look at the admin board. And as you can see, uh, there is quite a lot of things in here. If you remember the title, um, we had it saying animated scoreboard. Each letter popped up every two, um, I believe it's in ticks. So uh, that is pretty cool that you can do that. We then have the next line which is nothing and then line two which shows uh, the welcome player name in various different colors and the interval is five ticks. We then have line three which is nothing again. Line four shows uh, all of these things every 60 ticks which is three seconds and then we have lots of other things. So what we're going to do is copy and paste this and make our own scoreboard. So uh, let's call it VIP board like that and we are going to go into the config file and we need to put it up here. So let's just go ahead and delete um, default scoreboard and replace admin board with VIP board so we can have a look at it in game later. So let's go into VIP board and change quite a lot of things. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this interval to 4. We are going to delete most of this and create our own uh, title. So let's have lots of colours, that's what we want. So and 6 and L and O. And it's going to be called VIP board. And what is going to happen is it's going to just flash various different colours uh, every 4 ticks. So let's change this colour to maybe purple and the next colour to maybe green and the next colour to, ooh, let's go with blue, so nine. So that should look pretty cool, maybe four ticks is too fast but we will have a look in game. We're going to leave the space, the next line is going to be, um, have a think, what can we have, uh, let's do like use forward slash uh, help for commands like this, we're going to set the interval to 
a hundred ticks and we are going to put helpful commands here so we could use for slash spawn uh, to see cool stuff so you can really write anything and if you had the placeholder API you could have various placeholders so uh, we are going to put in the last bit hmm, for slash fly to fly but obviously you probably wouldn't want to give players fly to be honest uh, line four is going to be um, we're just going to leave it and at the end we're going to replace this so if I copy this and using notepad++ which I would highly recommend we're going to replace it paste it in there and replace it with subscribe look at that there we go that looked nice and because it's in colors and flashing people will do it probably um, so yeah let's have a look at this in game and hopefully it looks really cool so we are back in game and we are ready to reload the plugin and have a look at our brilliant new scoreboard so if you do full slash asb reload or click it here and hit enter hopefully hopefully our scoreboard pops up and yes there we go it has worked perfectly as you can see the subscribe is um, going pretty crazy we have the VIP ball be set uh, changing color every four ticks and the middle parts which we didn't actually edit at all so that is the plugin it's fantastic as you can see if I mentioned it earlier which I probably did it is free to download I know there are quite a few scoreboard plugins that are premium and cost money but this one is absolutely free which is great I know you guys love free plugins um, and so do I so uh, yeah you can just do whatever you want with this plugin, uh, which is great. You can edit it in the config file and make a really cool scoreboard. So subscribe, like, comment. Make sure you download it below if you want it. I would highly recommend it. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow, or maybe I'll go AWOL for a few days. I don't know.